right, the time is here. Take advantage. If you're interested in promoting your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News, music, brand, or even yourself, email me, Sam Ant at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com for more information. Don't wait. Let's go. Going. Damn. Emotional. Nah, good segment, man. All right, let's talk about yeah, Nelly definitely. real quick, man. Nelly was on the shop. Shout out to the shop. And he was talking about his era of hip-hop, an era we know very, very well. We grew up in the shit. So let's hear what Nelly had to say about his era in hip-hop and, and how it was the hardest. I put out songs. I had to go against DMX, Eminem. Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, Luda. Nah, yeah. All of us are fighting yeah, for, for right. one spot. So in t- from, two, from 99 to like 2008, 10, it's the hardest era we ever do to get right. We do units in pimp juice in us. <laughs> <laughs> nice, little, nice little clip right there. Nice little yeah. segment. Go check out the shop if you want to see it in its full uh, full capacity. But what, what do you think about that, man? That's an era that we, we did a lot of damage in it, 2000, 2010 era, 99, you know what I'm saying? So what, what do you think about what Nelly said? No, I was, I was thinking that when I first heard it, I was just kind of like thinking like, all right. I was almost trying to find something to go against it, and I couldn't. Nah, bro. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, he's telling the truth. I was like, hold on, it got to be another something else, like another era that telling the truth. Cause, and that's the era that we lived through, that we were young, we were impressionable, we were, you know, into all that shit. We, gotta, we seen Nelly come on the scene, you know what I mean, and take over the industry, change the sound, and move the shit to St. Louis. Like the St. Louis had it. Nelly had it for a minute. Um, the Saint, then he brought the St. Lunatics. They was killing shit with the mask on and all that and the way they was dancing and the come on, man, that country grandma shit is classic shit, bro. That's when that shit hit. Undeniable. Man, like yo, these dudes, and shout out to Ali and all, you know, uh Kiwan and all those cats that actually came on. Murph, yeah, yep. he came on as well. Only person we didn't get was Nelly. Right, facts. You know, so shout out to all of them that came on and um definitely gave us great interviews. But it, it, I got chills just speaking about it because it's like and that was a time where, like he said, no notice all the people he named was up here. Most of the people that he named, but if not all. It was like it was the East Coast. It was us. We got that shit. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, it started. You know, just it, it went to the St. Louis area. Like, oh, these dudes got something to kind of talk about. New Orleans, Under- New, Orleans. New Orleans. You know yep. what I mean? The I E I O. And they was spitting. Yep. They ain't come with the bullshit that we used to. You know, say, oh man, what's this mumbo jumbo shit? Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Nelly, man. He made a great point. Definitely. And, and I'm glad that I'm glad that he said that, man, because it kind of encapsulates because hip hop has been been around. It was 25, 30 years prior to that, right? And that was to be able to live through an era that we got to see. The names that he named the Hip Hop Hall of Famers. Yes, sir. All of them. All of them. Every single one of them. And he left out Kanye West because Kanye was cooking during that time, too. Yes, sir. And he left, I'm sure he left three or four other artists out. And then when you look at what Wayne was doing with the mixtapes and you just look at the grind that was going on in hip hop and the amount of hits. Luda had a Grammy. You got all these people up for Grammys and number one records in the country, number one albums in the country. Right. And they were up for one spot. And not only did Nelly shine, he took that shit over, like it or not. Yeah. And we didn't like it at first. Yeah. It wasn't something that we received early on because he was knocking and crushing a lot of our favorites out the water. Yeah. And the women loved him. Couldn't deny I mean, it. At first, I, I, I mean, I, was, I ain't gonna be lying. I was hating on him a little bit. Back yeah, then. me too. I'm like, man, fuck who the fuck is this nigga? Especially the girls loved him. They Murphy loved Lee him. and all the men. Like, what the fuck is going on? They love these dudes. I couldn't grow braids if I tried, so I was hating on him <laughs> like a motherfucker. Remember they had the, you know, the band aid? Yeah. And the, the, you know what I mean? The, the, everything. The Air Force One. It took like, over, man. man. Yo. It took over. A great, a great era. And like he said, DM, I remember when DMX, DMX. Jay Z was battling. Yeah. Remember you was buying albums back in the day? Yes. And hell yeah. DMX was the hottest motherfucker. Yep. D- no, nobody, even Jay Z wasn't rocking with DMX back then. And even that era, you got DMX, Jay Z, Nas, and you had Jay to kiss the locks and all them. That still wasn't as hard as what Nelly was talking about. Nah. Still wasn't as hard as what nope. Nelly was talking about. Right. Oh, what an era in hip hop, man. Yeah. What an era. And I know a lot of people, if you're listening to this, let us know about another era. Throw some names out there. I want to hear what people got to say in the comment section. They might say, oh, nah, well, this era was, you know, even now, people might have an argument about people now. Not better spitters. We ain't talking about that. I'm right. talking about hit after hit after hit. These motherfuckers making hits. Yeah. All of them got hits. Undeniable, timeless hits. Everyone he mentioned. 
All yeah. of them. That's crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Nelly, man. You the last shoe to drop. You got to come on the platform now. <laughs> and all your other brothers on here. Come on through, you bro. the last shoe. And shout out to Ali. Came on a few times. Ali the bro. Yeah, man. So definitely, man. But another episode of the Hip Hop Center podcast in the books. We definitely appreciate you guys chiming and listening in with us today. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. That's your brother, Sam, man. Follow Hip Hop News on your brother, Oh God. Hip Hop News Uncensored together with the Hip Hop Essential podcast.